It's five in the morning, and everyone's asleep. But me. I just finished a flex plot update, and I was so excited to share it with you that I'm doing it now. But I do have to be quiet because everyone's asleep. So this video will proceed without my normal pizzazz and enthusiasm, which is really hard for me because I'm really enthusiastic about mixed models and flex plot. But with that, let's get into R. And this totally just turned into an ASMR video. All right, here we are in R. And so what I have done is I have written a estimates function for mixed models. I should have done this years ago, but I didn't. Why? I don't remember, but it's here now. So this estimates function is an easy way to extract your fixed effects, your random effects, your R squared, and your ICC from lemur models. So I'm going to begin by requiring flexplot. And this new feature is available in flexplot 0.11.1 and later. So I'm going to require flexplot and I'm going to require LME4 because we're going to be building mixed models today. And I'm going to go ahead and look at the math data set. If you've watched any of my other mixed models videos, you know that I use the math data set, which contains schools and information about minority status and sex and socioeconomic status math achievement and then the mean socioeconomic status per school so remember first we want to fit our full and reduced models in previous videos i've told you we should also fit a baseline model but we don't need to do that anymore because the estimates function will do that for you i'm so excited all right, so first I will fit a full model, which has socioeconomic status as a fixed and a random effect and minority as just a fixed effect. And the reduced subtracts out minority. And so we're trying to see whether one's minority status reduces their math achievement score above and beyond any effect that socioeconomic status has. So once we fit our models, just like before, I'm going to visualize them using the compare.fits function. And what I am choosing to do here is put math achievement on the y-axis, of course, socioeconomic status on the x-axis, and minority status in panels. And this is randomly selecting the data from three schools in the background and showing you the fits of the two models. And what I'm looking for here is, hey, are those lines very different? And by golly, they are. Also, remember that the reduced model does not have a minority effect. And so we would expect that this greenish blue line will not change from one minority to the next. And it doesn't. Who'd have thought? But we see a very big difference in the full model. So it seems to be that the full model is picking up on something. And of course, we can pair our visuals with estimates by using the model.comparison function. And what do we see? We see our statistics there. And so the AIC, again, the smaller number is the model to be favored. So the full model is favored by the AIC, AIC as well as the BIC. The base factor very, very, very much favors the full model. Very, 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 very much. And the p-value also favors the full model. So all of our model comparison metrics say the full model is awesome. And on average, or technically on median, the predicted difference between the two models is only half a point-ish on math achievement. So it's not making huge differences in prediction, but it is making consistent differences. And then we see the R squared change between the full and the reduced model. So adding that minority status 
reduces our residual variance by 0 0.02 and our intercept variance by 0.18 and our socioeconomic status variance by 0.23. So yay, that's fun. But now we get to the feature event, which is computing estimates. So now we have the function estimates, which is a flex plot function that works for every other model but these until now. Now we can say estimates of full. And what do we get? Oh dear my golly. We get fixed effects listed right there. So that is our intercept. That tells you the effect of SES on average across all schools. So for a one standard deviation increase in socioeconomic status, we expect your math achievement score to go up by 2.13 points. And minority status, the difference between minorities and non-minorities in math achievement is negative 2.98 or almost a three point difference in math achievement, which is huge. So yeah, that's a problem. And then we have the variances of the random effects. So that is in the standard deviations of the random effects. So that right there tells us that on average, there is a two point deviation in the school's intercepts and then a 0.56 deviation in the slopes. And the residual variance is about six points. And we also get the ICC in the design effect, which is really cool because before you had to fit a baseline model first to do this. Now you don't have to do that. So the ICC is about 0.1, so that's telling you about 10% of the variance is due to cluster effects. And then our design effect tells us that we are artificially inflating our sample size by 2.38 points if we ignored the clustering effects. That's bad, but fortunately the model we're running is good. And then this right here tells us our R squared. So when we add minority status and socioeconomic status, we explain 8% of the residual variance and 0.54% of the intercept variance. So that's pretty cool. So that right there is my most exciting recent news about FlexBot. You can now use the estimates function in mixed models. I know, that's really exciting. I know you're so excited. Christmas came early this year. For the both of us. If there are any other feature requests about Flexplot, be sure to write them in the comments and I will consider them. With that, peace out.